Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 25 online game. Today, we got the Washington Redskins and the Baltimore Ravens. And as I said in my last video, I'm having a lot of fun with the read option this year. So why not grab RG3 and do some dance moves out here? Taking advantage of his speed, his agility, all of that right now, though. There we get sacked, but... The main reason why I threw the Redskins is just because of the read option. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I feel like my offense runs better when I had this read option because, like I said, it makes me a better runner because otherwise I'm not that great of a runner. And there, RG3 needs to be a better passer because that's a drag route and anybody can hit a drag route. So come on, dude. We punt the ball because of that. Kind of a sad way to end the drive because that would have been a first down otherwise. And now our defense comes out. Our suspect is hell defense. My defense has just been, like, bad. That's not even a good enough word to describe how just like how much yardage, how much touchdowns and stuff I give up. But here, third down, we have a chance to make a stop early in the game, and I don't know how we got that, but he got that to pit up, move the chains first down, and now he's starting to run the ball. Ray Rice, and this is where I really struggle stopping the run, the pass. I'm okay at stopping the run. I am not that great at stopping. Even there, I send a bunch of pressure there, but Ray Rice is still able to hit the edge, get a decent five-yard gain there. Then second down and five, we're able to force him to drop the ball there. We jumped the route in the last second. Third down, we're trying to make a stop here, but we have two guys around Ray Rice, but not one of them is able to jump the passing lane there. And he's able to throw it to Rice, who runs in the end zone, the very next play, and gets the first points of the game. So now, we're back to running the option. We're back, back on RG3 on the field, and we're about to do a juke move on here trying to dance around that one guy not able to but next play rg3 is hitting the open field again and this time he is gone touchdown for robert griffin the third and yeah we're looking deadly on the ground right now absolutely deadly in that pistol formation so we tied the game back up heading into the second quarter until jacoby jones says nah nah he's going back to a seven point game and my inability to cover kickoffs continues this game was played like three days ago before i played that raiders game the raiders game i played last night but um one thing that hasn't changed is i still can't cover kicks and there he takes one for a touchdown so instead of letting him drive the whole field now i come right back on offense down seven we'll get alfred morris going downfield doing the juke move to get a few extra yards now first down we hit garson again on the drag juke that one guy out the way try to dance some more but he goes out of bounds trying to do that second juke and now royster comes in to spell garson it's a decent few yard gain then somebody goes down i'm not sure who but look at robert griffin the third man this dude is like practically unstoppable <laughs> like this read option is serious man you gotta watch out for it and here's speaking well, actually i just screwed this up actually i just um i tried to kick the ball to the sideline so he couldn't get a kick return for a touchdown again i ended up kicking it out of bounds and he gets the ball at the 40 but hey that's better than giving him a touchdown right hopefully i can rely on my defense to get some sort of stop which doesn't really happen here third down and one ray rice on the pitch for a first down next play hits the edge with Ray Rice uses some good blocking from Pitta trying to do a spin move there is able to move the chains as he has been all game and then this play I accidentally gets stuck in the safety and I boot that thing right there and now we're back down by seven again and it's just no defense in this game I'm definitely not playing defense and he's not playing defense his only stop came because Robert Griffin the third missed the wide open drag and speaking of the drag there's Garcon on that same drag hitting it again for a first down before he gets laid out two minute warning hit so we're trying to get a touchdown before that hits and look at look at this dude like how do you stop him you just don't you just gotta send all 11 people you want to stop RG3 and I'm continuing to hit the drag to Garcon because he continues to leave it open and like I said, this game is all about offense, no defense, and there we hit a deep bomb to Santana Moss for a touchdown. Moss goes down for a little bit. I'm pretty sure he comes back, though, and now 45 seconds left. He has all three of his timeouts, so he has some time to make something happen, maybe get a field goal. We're going to make sure. We know he's trying to go deep, make sure we cover that, but there he hits a plate to Thompson between the... Um, the zone, he was pretty much like dotting up my zone all game long. Had his zone for most of the game. He was able to find the holes right there. He finds the hole, but uh, I believe Josh Wilson was able to force the drop, or maybe D'Angelo Hall. And here, once again, he finds a hole. Perfect pass by him. He was making some great passes, and he gets the ball in there. And plus, my defense is like Swiss cheese out there. And here, with 16 seconds left, he's rolling out the pocket, looking at the end zone, but he finds Josh Wilson instead. He tried to hit a red Raven, and he hit a Redskin instead. And look at this. I almost get a safety. And instead, I turn it into a touchdown right before halftime, right? Right, just got to outrun Thompson, and we do. The clock hits zero, and we hit an extra seven points on the board real quick. What a change of events, because he gets ball at halftime. He could have gone at least a field goal there and maybe made a two-possession lead on this drive. Instead, now we're up a touchdown, and we're in the driver's seat, and he's got to, like, 
force something on this drive to get some points. Because if he gives me the ball, he hasn't stopped me all game. It's not going to look good for him. Though here, he's running to Ray Rice. And uh, back to that play, though. I, I'm pretty sure I was going to get a safety. I would have taken a knee. But since I stepped, like, inbounds, like, uh, I mean, like, in the end zone, out the end zone, back in. I wasn't, sh I wasn't sure if I took a knee, I would get a safety or not. So I was like, all right, let me just run this out. And then need the ball at the end of halftime. Then I was just able to get all the way for a touchdown. It was just, like, perfect. And now we force him to take a field goal and... You can get a two possession game on this drive. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at getting a two possession lead. I'm looking at the fact that he still hasn't really stopped us. He still can't handle our run game, though. Unfortunately, Alfred Morris goes down. And you saw earlier Ray Rice went down. Ray Rice is gone for the game. Now Alfred Morris is down, and both of us are without our top backs for the rest of the game. So I sub in Hulu. Hulu's got some good speed compared to Morris. Morris is like 87. Hulu's like 93. So we're looking good on that front. Look at RG3, man. Probably didn't have to do that juke since he dolphin died himself out the way but 175 yards on the ground it's just like we're just killing it right now here we throw it to garcon but garcon puts it on the ground thankfully fred davis comes and gets that back i don't know how we didn't lose that one but i'll take it in third down you still can't stop the drag i'm still gonna throw it you gotta adjust to that five catches for garcon now and look at Hulu getting laid out by nada but rg3 dives in and grabs the ball now second down 11 rg3 running with the ball and rg3 in the end zone this man's about to hit 200 yards rushing in this game. He has no idea what to do with my man right now. And I know I have no idea what to do with these kick returns. He gets a big kick return for the end of the third quarter. Trying to take it all the way. Is able to get it into the 24-yard line. It's terrible kick coverage by myself. And he's trying to take off a Flacco. Gets sacked. Going to run one more play before the fourth quarter comes up. And it's going to be a big play to Bernard Pierce. Pierce all the way to the 10-yard line. And now the fourth quarter starts. And now Pierce continues to get the ball. And he's got to get a touchdown here. He's down 11. And what does he do here? He gets a touchdown to Bernard Pierce. And he makes it a four or five-point game. Trying to make it a three-point game in this two-point conversion, which he does. I don't know what Kerrigan was doing, but he's able to get to Jacoby Jones. Now the onside kick is recovered by us, which is great because now we have a chance to kill some clock, get some more points, and more importantly, he doesn't get to touch the ball. And here we run the option, and look at RG3. It only takes him one play to go all the way again. Like, he just cannot stop RG3 right now. <laughs> it's a legit problem for him. He has no idea what the hell he's doing with this read option. And I have no idea what the hell I'm doing on defense, so... Hopefully, we can at least force him to go through a long drive. And here he hits Dennis Pitta for a decent gain. Seems like every single passing play is a positive gain for him. There, that would have been a positive gain if Pierce didn't drop the ball. But second down and 10, he hits Pierce. I do like ridiculous hit stick animation that makes me go to like, God knows where. Then third down and 5, he hits Thompson on the curl. But at least we're forcing him to kill some clock right now. And now we're just trying to cover the deep ball. Trying to cover deep ball. He hits the drag the, or the wheel of Pitta. Continues to move the chains. And I'm like, all right. If we give up a touchdown, we get the ball back and we get to run some clock. All right. So I'm not too worried. I'm just worried about him killing clock in this drive right now. And that's what he's doing. He hits Thompson. Almost gets in the end zone. But gets stopped at the one. Thompson gets injured. Prompts an injury timeout which i didn't really want to see and now he gets in the end zone and it's back to a three-point game and it's back to the onside kick which we recover again so now we get the ball with 315 left we have a chance to kill the rest of the clock or just make it a two possession lead again and here it looks like he's sending an engage eight so i'm like all right i'm gonna hit the post route because that's man to man hit the post route get a first down easily but i end up throwing an interception again he's at the right place at the right time when I'm throwing it to that guy. The one guy that wasn't open on the play. And I find him. And I find. Actually I didn't find him. I found Jimmy Smith instead. And Jimmy Smith makes the interception. And now he has the ball with a chance to either tie the game. Or what Bernard Pierce wants to do here. Using that stiff arm. Take the lead. Second down 11. He runs the draw play for Pierce. I don't know what the hell I did diving on the ground. But he gets the first down. He's in field goal range for Justin Tucker. But look at Bernard Pierce trying to get the edge to get his team the lead. Two minute warning is hit. Less than two minutes in the game. He's running this pitch to Pierce and Pierce is going for the lead oh man I can't believe I really blew that all I had to do was run the freaking ball and now I have the ball though with a chance to win the game with a touchdown that's all I'm worried about he hasn't really stopped me besides that one screw up so I'm, I'm cool with that and here I accidentally forget to put Y in a wheel so when I throw it to Y he's in the flats there so I don't really get anything out of it now third down 12 I try to be smart here and call a running play but someone blocks my offensive line and even though he rushed three he was able to contain that play perfectly so now it's fourth down 11 in a game where I was comfortably in the lead and now I got 
gotta press to get first downs here. Looking at Pierre Garcon, and I cannot hit him. And ends up being intercepted somehow instead. Someone is injured on the ground. All I know is I lost this game. I wanted to wait more time, but there was pressure coming. I had to let it off to somebody, and my best bet was thrown to Garcon. He had A covered, RB was God knows where, and um, we ended up losing the game, and I just had to go in a corner and cry because I have nobody to blame but myself for that. So, hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like on this video because it was a nice game and all. Leave a like for Archie 3's great performance. Um, Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time.